Hey guys. So let's see. Today's a remote day for Turner Primary School, so I figured we would uh, do a project that everybody can kind of do. This is for kindergarten through second grade. And I've got my paper. If you only have small paper, that works well too. This is, I'm, I'm working on big paper because that way you can see it a little bit easier. Okay, so we're going to talk about owls. If you've had me in class last week, then this is the project you did probably. And if not, then this is, this will get you caught up with the rest of them. Okay, so first things first, the owl is the mascot for our school, which is pretty cool because owls are neat. They're very cool birds. And I figured I will show you one of the ways that I draw an owl. It's kind of cartoony. It's a little, you know, yeah, a little more cartoony than realistic, but that's fun. That's the way I like to do things. So, okay, starting on my paper. Now, if you find a different way to do an owl, or if you don't want to do an owl this way, and you have a better way, do it that way, okay? All right, first things first, I'm going to draw his body. I'm going to draw one of those owls that has the feathery horns on the top, like a great horned owl. Okay, so what I like to do is I start out with kind of like a, just a shape like that. And it's going to end up looking kind of like a shield. Doesn't that kind of look like a shield? Okay. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect by any means. I never do anything perfect. One of the things that I'll always notice about owls is they have really big eyes. So somewhere around this area, and I'm going to make them very round. And I like to put my owl's eyes pretty close together. That, one, that one's a little wobbly looking, but that's okay. All right. They have little itty bitty beaks, which is kind of funny. I don't know why they have such small beaks. And then let's see here. So then I'm gonna do that, a couple lines over there. And this area here, like we did with fish scales when we were doing rainbow fish, I'm gonna add some feathers to his belly. Okay, and I can put a wing here, a wing there. I don't know why, but my owls always end up looking surprised. Owls have little bitty feet with three toes, like a lizard. One, two, three, and one, two, three. And then if I want to put him on a branch, there. Now he's standing on a branch of a tree. And I could put, you know, I could put some leaves here and there. Maybe I could draw another little owl over here. Maybe there's more of the tree over here that we don't always see, you know, that we see later on. And I'm, I'm going to go and color this in later, of course. I like to color stuff. So put some leaves down here. There we go. And that's the beginning of my owl. He, he needs color. He needs a little more detail, I think. I want to put a couple more feather areas in there. I might give him some nostrils. Fill in that a little bit more. Color the eyes a little bit. I can give him eyebrows if I want to. I can, what I, and this can be any kind of, any kind of owl I want. He can be extremely colorful. He can be, like, you know, like I said, really cartoony. He can look like a tropical bird. There's one other way that I found to do this too, and this is this one's a little more realistic, but not much. So this is kind of like your second choice if you don't like the first one. I start with a circle. Okay. Now I'm going to draw kind of a football shape around the circle. So going down. Like that. Interesting. Okay, this is the head, this is the body. So again, big eyes, little triangle beak. Okay, don't need to draw a mouth because the mouth is the beak. And then I can just do wing, wing. I want to put his feet a little higher up this time. So that's his tail down there. And there's another owl. And I'm going to give him some feathers on his tummy. There we go. Just waiting to be colored. So hopefully you guys are staying safe and everybody's feeling good and everybody's happy. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again when, I, when we're all back together next week. So in the meantime, if you want to draw an owl, I would love to see a picture of it. You can bring it in and show me the next time I see you. Or 
you could, uh, yeah, I think that's probably the best option. So that'd be great. All right, guys, stay safe, have fun, get out and play in the snow, get some fresh air, and I'll see you real soon.